Hey guys, I just want to talk to you about a couple of apps. Do you have the Bible app on your phone? Um, it is a great tool to just access the Bible at any time. Um, and if you're feeling down, if you're feeling happy, any just at any time, if you want to look up a verse, it's just so easy to access. You pull it up, look at my streak on there. Anyway, so that is a great, we are almost at 500 million downloads. So anyway, something like that. Now, if you struggle understanding what you're reading, one of my favorite apps is called Through the Word. So it is that middle one there. Can you see it? TTW. So when you click on it, um, it is a great tool to help you understand what you're reading. I am doing Revelation right now, but let me show you from the home screen. So there are Bible journeys. What this does is it takes you on a journey through the entire Bible, one chapter at a time. So there's different um, pastors that will explain what you're reading in such a great way. I absolutely love it. So there's many, many Bible journeys. I've done a whole bunch of those. There's also Old Testament, New Testament. So you can click on those. Um, like if you want a specific, like Genesis or whatever. Um, there are Bible topics. There's ones over anxiety, peace, um, prayer, um, temptations, marriage, and so on. It's so good. Um, and then there's the different Bible teachers. So like I, my favorite is Chris Langham. So this goes through all the ones that he does. So like I said, right now I'm on Revelation. So let me just give you an example of how this works. I'm going to go to Revelation 20. So just listen. Welcome to Through the Word, leading you on a journey through the entire Bible, one chapter at a time. <laughs> Today, Chris Langham guides us through the New Testament book of Revelation. Now to Pastor Chris. Revelation 20. The Millennium, The Great White Throne Judgment. This chapter is huge, so I'll apologize now in case the time goes over. But we're talking heaven and hell here. Speaking of which, do you believe in heaven and hell? Does it make a difference if you do? C.S. Lewis said, If heaven is real, nothing else matters. If heaven is not real, nothing matters at all. Think about that. And what about hell? Does it exist? Does it make a difference? Of course it makes a difference. That's like saying, does it make a difference whether life has consequences or not? Yes, consequences matter, and eternity matters a lot. It matters forever. See, we left off with a lot of people dead, judged on earth, their flesh destroyed. But what about after that? What happens to their souls? In chapter 19, we got just a glimpse of the second coming. Jesus returned to earth astride a great white horse, emblazoned across his thigh and on his robe, the title. King of kings and Lord of lords. With him are his faithful servants, believers like me and you. The kings of the earth had gathered together at Megiddo for the great battle against the Lord, a battle which failed miserably. Now, if you don't think that people would gather to fight the Lord, you don't know people. Now the battle is over. Antichrist and his prophet are in the lake of fire. The armies are destroyed, but there is one more enemy that remains. Verse 1. And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven having the key to the abyss and holding in his hand a great chain. He seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil, or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. So this is the destiny of Satan, the Lord of lies, the accuser of the brethren, Lucifer. He is so he goes on to explain, and it really helps, because sometimes some of the stuff that we read in the Bible is very confusing. So I just wanted to share that. Um, if you have no interest in downloading either app, of course, you don't have to. I just wanted to, um, just, I just wanted to share. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you.